Hey guys, Rochelle here with Amethyst Ascension. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for joining me again. So I got a couple more decks. Well, a few more decks in today. Um, <laughs> I got a whole bunch of decks for Christmas. <laughs> Between my husband and kids. <laughs> so I was going to... Um, show these. I do not have a Christmas deck yet and I seen this and I definitely wanted it and I've been eyeing this one for quite a while so my husband um, ordered both of them and sent it to me. Hattie Thorne is the shop on Etsy and this is also like her website and her Instagram. This is another deck that she's got. It says this is a sample of my deck retro poster or retro poster tarot <laughs> by Hattie. That's one of them. Ten of Pentacles. That is so friggin' cool, isn't it? That looks really cool. If you want to see a walkthrough of this, Ramon um, Moon Scarab. He just did a walkthrough of this. It's a really cool looking deck. He just got a couple of decks from Hattie Thorne as well. So. so today I'm going to do a walkthrough or this video is going to be a walkthrough of the Vintage Christmas Tarot. All right. So it comes in a regular tuck box. And this is what it says on the back. Step back in time to a bygone era of elegance and enchantment with the vintage Christmas tarot. This nostalgic deck takes you on a journey into the heart of the holiday season, beautifully blending the artistry of Victorian chromolithography uh, with the mystical symbolism of the traditional Rider Waite tarot. This unique 78 tarot card deck, or card tarot deck <laughs> has been lovingly designed by author and designer Hattie Thorne. I seen this and I've been looking at it for a few weeks and finally I told my hus husband, I sent it to him and I says, this is what I want for Christmas. And <clears throat> I mean, he says, get a whole lot more than that, but I just... I love the theme of this. It takes me back to when I was a kid at Christmas. Those are the backs. Maybe I should get closer. Maybe I'll leave that up. There we go. Isn't this just beautiful? It's slippery. It's like, um, these feel like laminated. These images just take me back to like, you know, very nostalgic Charles Dickens. You know, I was talking with my husband couple days ago because you know what? I love Christmas movies I love Christmas music I love all that my husband he is a Christmas fanatic you know I had such fond memories of Christmas from when I was a kid all the holidays really but Christmas even though we never as a kid I never got a whole lot of um toys and stuff um you know my mom just couldn't afford it um my children, oh my gosh, they were so spoiled by their father at Christmas time. He just does not know when to stop, okay? <laughs> I swear I've seen my kids getting bored from opening up so many gifts at Christmas. But we were talking and I remember grow when I was growing up, there used to be so many decorations I don't know about like where you live now, if at Christmas time they just like really do it up with the holiday cheer and 
um, you know, like the wreaths and the, the garland and the lights at Christmas time. All the streets were lined. I just remember it was all the um, lights, the old fashioned lights with like garland around those. Oh, it was so beautiful. Now we don't see that anymore. Where we live, they don't really decorate too much anymore. Almost like it's not in the budget or I don't know. It's just sad. They do one thing like um, silver, silver bells. You know, because I live in the, the capital of Michigan. And so, like, around the courthouse or the state representatives. What is that? Anyways, it's a huge building downtown. I don't know what it is. The, the House of Representatives, I think. They have, like, a huge Christmas tree and they do that lighting and stuff around there. But we've never attended just because we hear it's, like terribly crowded and it takes forever and it's hard to get out of there and yeah people get nasty <laughs> it's just not like what you would imagine I know that um my husband is a huge lover of like Christmas story that's like his thing because his dad that was like where his dad grew up you know, that storyline of where, like, Homan, well, it was really, I think, supposed to be based on, like, Hammond, Indiana, and that's where my husband's father grew up. Well, around Chicago also, but from when he was a kid. So, it was like, that was one of those things that him and his dad used to watch as well he's my husband's got that big leg lamp <laughs> which is so cool isn't this not the most gorgeous deck it makes me want to bust out in christmas music you know? <coughs> apparently oliver wanted to break out in christmas songs too You know, I'm not usually a border person, but it just works with this also. This big, like, vintage color, you know, like light tan or off-white border. It just works. White would have been way too bright. This is beautiful. I really wanted to have at least one tarot deck that I could pull out around Christmas time. So what do you guys think? Do you guys have a deck that you use, you know, really around Christmas? That actually looks like Christmas? I remember one year we went to Florida when my mom lived in Florida. And... We were there for Christmas that year. It just wasn't the same. It just wasn't the same. There was no snow. It was warm. Nah. I would never want to do that again. I mean, it's, I love it when it snows on Christmas. You know, I have such fond memories of um, making like igloos and snow houses and snowball fights and sledding, uh, building snowmen, going Christmas caroling at Christmas time, going to like concerts and just really big parties. You know, big family gatherings. And you just hope that everybody gets to experience that kind of Christmas. And this deck really kind of makes me think of that.
because, I mean, just the way that they used to decorate all the malls, all the malls are kind of like a, th not a thing of the past, but they're nothing like what they were, you know, like in the 80s, right? I remember going to the malls and the malls would be so decorated with the um, Christmas and big trees and I mean like massive trees. And they'd have Santa with the elves. It was so cool. We just got done watching a good Christmas movie with, um, gosh, I can't remember the name of it. The, the Best Christmas Ever. It's on Netflix, I think. From, with the guy from American Pie and American Wedding. The guy that got married, that friend, and then um, his wife was Heather Graham, and they accidentally ended up at a friend's house for the holidays for Christmas, and it was just so good. But they're all just like such feel-good movies, you know? I am such a sucker for that. I swear I can watch friggin' Christmas commercials and start crying. <laughs> it's so good. So I was so excited to get this. And I have no idea what I would even pair this with. Maybe something landscape. I wish, I wonder if there's like a Christmas oracle. Um, that's like landscape. Like landscapes, you know what I mean? Not like a landscape uh, like this, but I mean, which that would be kind of neat too, but just an actual like wintry scenes. I'm probably going to do like a gold edging on this. Let me, I'll show you. This is really, I mean, it's a good shuffler like this, but there is no way that I could um, riffle shuffle. I already tried. These are just too stiff. And it's pretty thick. These This cardstock is pretty thick. I mean, it is beautiful cardstock. Don't get me wrong. It is beautiful. But there's no riffle shuffling for this. So I would have, for me, my hands are not strong enough for that. But I also like doing like the side waterfall. And I feel like that works just as well, too. I can imagine using like a red, like sparkly drop cloth or like a small Christmas tree skirt as like my tarot cloth. I should get like a little, like a little round one. Do some tarot readings for Christmas with that. Or a beautiful green, like holly, something. Or even a plaid. I think a solid color with this would look really pretty though. So this does not come with any book or anything. It's just your, it's your rider weight system, you know. So, this is not a great deck for beginners. But for somebody that is very, um, that knows the meanings, they could easily use this deck. Right? Or... Or someone that has a different guidebook, you know, like a just your run of the mill guidebook. But <clears throat> I think it's beautiful. Or if you're just a collector and you want to get something that's Christmassy, I I just fall in love with this. The artwork is amazing to me, and it really takes me back. I mean, I'm gonna be 53 in uh, January, and. Although this was before my time, this artwork is probably more like 20s and 30s, in some even probably older than that. 
but this was like stuff that was really, really popular, like on like uh, photographs and um, Christmas wrapping paper and, you know, like old Christmas um, movies and stuff like that and posters. This is what it reminds me of, like the way Christmas used to be. So I hope you have enjoyed this. I will be putting a link down below to um, the place where I got this. It's called The Vintage Christmas Tarot by Hattie Thorne. Thank you for spending this time with me, and I am sending you love always.